Over 89% of the child casualties from explosive ordnance in Afghanistan at the moment are from explosive remnants of war. And what we're talking about like that mainly are items exactly like these in front of me. Mortar bombs that have been fired or mortar bombs that have been left lying around in bunkers that children are collecting or people are collecting for the use of the scrap. And that sometimes involves those items exploding. These are things that clearly shouldn't be approached and shouldn't be touched by children or by anybody. But there is a huge demand for scrap metal at the moment and we receive reports of child casualties on a weekly basis, which is hugely troubling. The way we're trying to counter it is through risk education and sending out teams wherever we can uh, in order to educate people that they should not be handling these devices at all. Scrap metal is collected uh, normally at district level and by hand or in wheelbarrows and taken to collection facilities and then from there transported to smelting factories where the metal is melted down for other use. It's when it arrives at those smelting factories in large twisted mangled piles of metal that the workers of those factories realise the amount of contamination that's inside there and they call the hotline or they call um, one of the in implementing partners in Mine Action to come and dispose of the contamination that they've got inside their factory. For example, in Kabul, I think the Halo Trust over the past six months has cleared about 45 tonnes of unexploded ordnance from smelting factories in Kabul. And this involves sifting through scraps of tangled metal piece by piece, trying to find what is dangerous and what is not, separating it to one side and then taking it out to a safe area for disposal. Two, one. There's now a fantastic opportunity to consolidate peace after decades of fighting and allow the countryside to be a safer place where people can return to their homes, can return to their schools, to their fields and to their orchards without the fear of death or injury from what is lying around from years of fighting. I'm a passionate believer in the humanitarian benefit of mine action because it, it changes society to make this a safer place. People can't live surrounded by the remnants of war and the work that the IPs do in this country, despite some being internationally owned, all Afghan workers clearing the land, clearing the fields, clearing the ground on their hands and knees to make this country a safer place. It's hugely rewarding work and it would benefit so much more from better funding. It's rewarding to be a part of it and I feel honoured to be able to contribute in a small way.